We are starting this episode by trying out some rune dragons. I have the Bandos Tassets that we got in the last episode, the DFS we also got recently by Doug, and the Insulated Boots to avoid the rune dragon special attack. I think my gear is pretty decent, but I'm not sure how this is going to go regardless with my stats and everything. But the reason why I want to try rune dragons is because they have a 1 in 800 chance of dropping the dragon limbs, which means we will have a dragon crossbow, so one of them would just be really useful for the team, because the best ones we have is a rune. So let's see how this goes. First thing I have to do though is actually use a dig site pendant on this thing right here. Now that allows me to teleport it really close to rune dragons to a lith kren or whatever it's called. So I can get here really fast now with dueling ring and then the dig site pendant. Now, how difficult are rune dragons? Well, they are pretty difficult. Uh, you can see the guy beside me, he's probably on alt account. A lot of people do kind of AFK this with full justiciar, the dragon hunter lance, which we of course do not have, and a DFS. I will have to go with this setup, and that means I'm going to be tanking quite a lot of damage, even though my defense is decent. But I'm going to assume I might be able to get like 40 kills an hour, which is not great. That means 20 hours for getting the dragon limbs if I would be on drop rate, but uh, you can always get lucky. Talking about lucky, dragon plate legs, those are actually a 1 in 127 drop, and I've only killed like, what, 10 of them maybe at this point, so yeah, very lucky. Yes, that's what you want to see. Another pair of dragon plate legs. I've only killed 16. So this is going great. This uh, dragon right here is going to be kill number 100. If we go here, you can see I have 99 now. And uh, this is kill number 100. And uh, this was a lot slower than I thought. This has taken me roughly 5 hours to do. And dragon plate legs as well. A pretty good drop for the kill number 100. But um, that means I am getting 20 kills an hour, which means 800 AK on the drop rate would be a 40 hour grind. But it is very relaxing, so it's not that bad, and I'm going to keep going for a while. Now in the last clip you might have seen that there was a system update, and that is actually the release of the League Rewards, and in my last video I showed you guys that I actually got 1500 points to be able to buy this thing right here. Chattered Variety Ornament Kit, and uh, that is the Whip Ornament Kit, so I'm going to be buying that, and as it says here, you can do it on an Abyssal Whip or Tentacle, Rune Crossbow, or a Completed God Book, and I assume if I use it on this, I can actually just uh, detach it whenever I want to, let's do yes, that looks so nice, yes, Dismantle Kit, so I can actually do that for my Rune Crossbow as well, which I want to have a look at, but let's have a look first at the Whip Cosmetic. And this is how it looks. Uh, it's a bit shorter than I thought it would be. I want to see how it looks when I attack something. I'm going to attack this one. Alright, looks pretty decent, but let's see how it looks with the rune crossbow. Alright, so let's detach it, dismantle kit, yes, and now I can use it on the crossbow, yes, and it looks blue now, kind of like the blue right crossbow. Let's equip it, and oh, that's not bad. It, uh, the hand looks kind of weird, I think. But otherwise it's just a rune crossbow with a uh, blue flame on it, which uh, I kind of like it. So right now I only have 5 prayer potions left, but I did actually do Raynor runs the entire time. Also have some snapdragons, but I'm going to keep that for restores whenever we do like God Wars or something like that with Sara Bruce. But yeah, I can make 184 Raynars and I'm still doing Raynor runs. I have 23 seeds left, so I'm going to restock on some prayer pots. Oh my god. What am I looking at? Look at all these cannons and look at the names of all these accounts. They're all maxed as well, like 126 combat, and it's uh, probably the alts of all these, uh, the same guy. They all have the adamant cup, so I guess he grinded that on all these accounts, which is ridiculous. And over here we also have uh, Trails RS. Oh my god, oh my god, Dragon Limbs, I got them! Oh my god, that was really lucky. That didn't actually take that long, that was like 6 hours of doing this, I should be around 120 kill count. That is amazing, we now have a dragon crossbow for the team. 118 kill count, that is really lucky, and uh, I guess we should have someone with a fletching level be able to make this. Let's have a look, let's go to crossbows, all the way down, 78, that is really low. Yeah, we definitely have someone that can do that. Did another trip and got back into the storage where Max Snake had made the dragon crossbow. And on the stats on it, it's not vastly better, but the dragon crossbow allows you to actually use dragon bolts. 
So that is a massive difference in range strength. Let's have a look. The rune crossbow is 90 ranged bonus and the dragon one is 94. So it's a very minor difference, but as I said, you have the dragon balls that you can use with this, which does increase the strength by quite a bit. It's been around four more hours of killing rune dragons, and I just hit the 200 rune dragon mark. And this is where I'm going to stop, because this is now 10 hours of killing rune dragons, and I am one fourth of the drop rate for dragon limbs, but of course, as you saw before, I did get a pair, which is really nice. I might do this now and then, not sure how often I'm going to do it. But yeah, now and then I might do it. We might also hit up some Commander Siliana to maybe get an Armadillo crossbow. Just getting any type of crossbows that are not a rune is of course good. So when it comes to loot, this is everything I have. I do miss four rune bars and five dragon bones. I just didn't pick them up for some reason. I don't really remember. But uh, yeah, this is all that I got. The 615 Wrath Runes is really good because of the uh, prayer spell on the Archaeo spellbook where you sacrifice ashes. They do require these Wrath Runes. They're really good for Abyssal Demons, for example, on Slayer Task in the future. And let's have a price check at all of this for 200 kills. 6.5 million. And uh, in Alkibos, I would say that's quite good. Um, of course, the rune bars is a lot of the money, but uh, there's still some decent alkyballs here, and all of these are going to go into rune darts. If we take out most of these things, it's probably still like 2-3 million in alkyballs, just the dragon plate legs being like 650k. So yeah, after taking out everything, 2.2 million, and that means it's like 11k cash per kill, which is definitely not bad. I actually ended my last video on 80 fishing, but I've been doing quite a lot of fishing in the background and I'm about to hit 82 fishing right here. And this is actually quite a big level because that unlocks angler fish without boosting and they're not that bad food for PVMing. So I might actually go and try how fast, how many an hour it is to fish it. And I might do that instead of barbarian fishing in my AFK time. Well, uh, this is definitely not as good as I thought it would be. Uh, I actually thought I could get a decent amount of these, but that's one hour done, and I caught 100 of them. It says 72 an hour, but I did go AFK a bit, but I did pause the stopwatch for it, but uh, 13,000 fishing experience an hour at my level. This might be better when I get to higher levels, but uh, at 82, it's definitely not that viable. I felt like doing some Slayer and I got the perfect task to show you guys why the Demonic Offering spell that requires the Wrath Runes that I got from Rune Dragons is so good. I do really want to focus on my melee stats mostly, so I'm going to be doing this task with the Arc Light. I have like 15,000 charges or something, but uh, let's have a look at this. I now have six of these Abyssal Ashes and I think every cast, meaning one rune, is three of them. So let's click on it and that is 765 prayer experience for three of them, so I can do that twice. That has a cooldown, but not very long, and I click it again. I also get some magic experience, so yeah, as you can see, very good prayer experience. I swear, I AFK too hard when I do combat, but that is a 96 hit points reached. Only three more levels to go for a, a combat 99. Would you look at that? Abyssal Whip, that is the first one I've ever got on this account. I think I have over a thousand kill counts, and oh my god, look at that in the chat. It's three million currently? Is there a reason? Maybe it's because the new raid is coming out pretty soon. But anyways, that is the end of the task and the last cast of Demonic Offering for a 40,000 prayer experience on one single task of 158 Abyssal Demons. So every time I'm doing this, I'm going to get a decent amount of prayer experience, at least until my runes run out. I always do my Lizardmen Shaman tasks and uh, that is the first Dragon Spear actually on the entire account. I would assume that's like the same drop rates or even more rare than a Dragon Warhammer, but uh, it is something at least. I think I'm at like 1500 Shamans total. So I'm on task 240, so I picked up a Konar task and I got Dust Devils in the Smoke Dungeon. And every time I see this task, I really get discouraged because all I think of is in the singles area. I don't know if this is new, but they actually put in a multi-area in this dungeon. So if you get this task, it really is not that bad. So you can go over here, here is the entrance with the rope, and you can go over here. And look how stacked they are. There are so many of them, and as you can see now, it is multi. I am getting so many now, Abyssal Whip number 2, and uh, these are all going to Tentacle Whips for a TOB whenever we actually get Kraken Tentacles, so it's not bad at all. So our team has a list in our Discord of every single Slayer item we actually still need, and how many we already have. You can see the list on the screen right now, you can see how many we still need all of the 5 of, 
and uh, most of them are for the higher slayer level creatures for example the eternal pigation and primordial crystals we of course can't have any of them because we have no one with 91 slayer for cerberus but that is why i want to do quite a bit of slayer now and then to try to work towards getting these for the team on the last task I did actually hit 89 strength but I just picked up a Barrow's Brother task and 42 of them is 7 chests and 7 chances at getting the last Barrow's item we actually need which is the Darox Plate Body. We have every single item at least once except the Darox Plate Body so if I would get that we would have the full Darox set completed which is actually really good for like AFK Nightmare Zone. And here we go, this is the last chest. Chest number 7, you can see the runes that I got from all these runs, I didn't have to bank anything. So this is all the runes that I got, look, 2000 Chaos runes in just 7 chests, and I haven't even opened the 7th one. And the last one's going to be, nothing too great, but uh, yeah, the runes are definitely good, and this is with the Mauritania Hard Diary done. In my last video I actually unlocked the Kingdom of Miscellanea, which of course I should have done quite a while ago. But I also did the Royal Trouble so I will get more resources and now I'm going to get my approval up to 100% so I get the most out of it. It's drained roughly like 750k cash out of the 3 million I put in. And I'm very excited to see what like 2 weeks, a bit less than that I guess, of resources is going to look like. I put most of it on herbs and then half of the rest I guess on teaks. So let's see what that is going to give me. And here we go, this is everything that I got, 29 Raynars, I think I got one Raynar seed as well, yes I did, and 1000 Teak Logs, this is basically I think at least one and a half weeks, and uh, the Teak Logs are all going into Teak Planks to uh, use for Mahogany Homes, which is going to help me get my construction up, so yeah, that's definitely not bad. So the team has been talking and we are going to try to do a theater of blood in the next video because I think everyone in the team except a friend has full void and he has been working on it in the past day so he should be done with it to do theater of blood either today or tomorrow and I want to end the video here to start the next video focusing a lot on theater of blood but the near future of this account is hopefully a lot of group bossing and some afk skilling and slayer in the background meanwhile waiting for more group bossing and uh, we are really getting up there on the ranks. I think we're ranked 6 or 5 right now out of 5 man group Iron Man teams, which is really nice. But I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, leave a like, subscribe if you want to see the future uploads. And until next time, guys, take care.